the relationship between the theological theory of pantheism and science is simple and straightforward. Pantheism accepts that science correctly reveals the mechanisms by which the universe was designed to operate. For example, scientific evaluation and experimentation demonstrate that the Earth is billions of years old, that the universe is many more billions of years old, and that living things, including humans, evolve by a process of natural selection. In fact, it is completely mathematically impossible for any reproducing population of living organisms to avoid a certain number of very tiny random mutations when reproducing, and it is impossible for such organisms to avoid natural selection against those specimens which are least fit in the light of such mutations. A theology which insisted that no mutations occur when scientific investigation makes it clear that they do would be ridiculous, and so would a theology that insisted that the weakest or least competitive organism in the group would be exactly as likely to reproduce as the strongest or most competitive. Pandeism does not deny these obvious scientific and mathematical truths because, in fact, they reveal the mechanism by which the universe is intended by its creator to work. The most amazing characteristic of this universe is its capacity to generate complexity. Consider that minute forces cause subquarks to form into quarks, which form into a menagerie of subatomic particles, which form into scores of different element, which have variable electron shells rendering some inert, while compelling others to form all different sorts of molecules, some of which make up the building blocks of collections of molecules, which operate as moving parts, and are able to grab material from their environment. And, most amazingly, to make copies of themselves. And, while these copies may be imperfect, if one of them has a change, that is an improvement, the copy with the improvement, is the one, that will be more successful, in making copies of itself. And over billions of years this process, can lead to magnificently complex creatures, taking us to this point, where we have human intelligence, and inevitably taking us to future points beyond, where we use that very intelligence, to improve ourselves even further than we can imagine today. Creationists deny that evolution occurs, and say that, based on one ancient holy book or another, the Creator must have plopped a pair of every species, from bacteria to baleen whales, over the surface of the earth, filling them with junk DNA and fatal flaws, giving only a false appearance of eons of evolution. Amazingly enough, this sort of clumsy hotchpotch is the thing that creationists label as intelligent design. But pandeists know that the real intelligent design comes in the creation of a universe where, from nothing more than the materials produced in the Big Bang and universal forces and laws of physics that recombine those materials, life arises and thrives, and intelligence evolves.